Greetings, Internet, and welcome to Aaron Plays, and I hope you're doing fantastically well. This will be episode two of my solo playthrough of Space Empires 4X, playing against two aliens, which means it's playing on hard level, because I'm, they're all, oh, and they've got, well, it's hard level. So this, this is the, the rules that I'm working through, um, playing with all the advanced rules apart from the additional, additional aliens, um, and none of the optional rules. So it's the basic rules and the advanced rules from the core rule set. Um, the previous episode, we went through the first economic cycle, the first three turns, plus Econ 1. Let's see if we can do the next three turns and Econ 2, and obviously what the aliens are up to. Uh, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, that'd be perfect. If you're gonna, sorry, like the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be perfect, thank you. And any comments, much appreciated. Let's go to the map. Okay, so there's the situation. We've done a little bit of exploration. I built some what we call MSP pipelines. I will go through the rules of those as we progress. And this little green marker here is my little pointer because this is an old version of Vassal and I can't seem to get the little flashing red circle to, to work on it. Anyway, so we're about to do, we're in the economic phase two. We've got three turns. This will be the first turn of that. And remember the sequence of play. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, go and watch episode one. That will explain what I'm, you know, I don't want to go back over old ground because there's enough rules. As it, I mean, there's 16 pages of rules. There's not that many at the end of the day. But uh, we begin with the movement phase. So I'm sending my scouts out. The, remember these um, with the yellow lines are... Um, what are called my home systems and uh, they're not as uh, dangerous as the ones with the white lines which is deep space so the first thing i, I want to do is um in the movement phase is bring back so this miner brings back that minerals and i put a little claim marker on it to so, so in the next economic cycle that will be um used for my construction of units it gives me five construction points so let's send the scouts out remember it's movement phase first then it's combat if there is any and then there is um exploration so that will be to go and colonize valhalla and we'll send this scout ship out to go and look at that we'll send this scout ship to go and look at that and then i want to make my ms pipeline so what do these actually do all right so again they they move one space um per turn um they don't move very fast and i've got to set up one um here and i can toggle to make it connected now oh i don't know if you can see that's very there we go there's a little plus one on there that means that it's connecting to these once they get into place so another one's going to be you get a move side you know they are slightly different from what actually the game comes one's got to stay in in here and then one's got to go into vega and then once it's going to vega i put it also connected and that will then mean vega will supply me with one construction point per turn um okay we haven't found any other colony so i'm going to put this guy out here for the time being Okay, so the miners move. Remember, the, the, this is here. Um, shipyards, they don't move. Um, so that concludes my movement, I believe. So we will then turn over. Um, what do we find here? More minerals. That's useful for the miner to, to, to bring back. And we've got one over here to explore. Um, flip that. We found another planet. Useful. We need to get that colonial ship out to there. Um, replace the tile. There we go. And over here, uh, flip that, and we found some more minerals. Okay, so the miner is going to be extremely busy, and this is where I get to the point, thing, should I buy another miner? But buying another miner, he costs five money, construction points. So effectively, that would be using up the resources of one mineral uh, counter straight off to, to buy him. So 
but then I'll be able to collect maybe two or even three of those per economic cycle. So swings, roundabouts. Okay, uh, I think that's everybody moved. Okay, so we've done the exploration. We've done, yeah, everything done. So we'll move on to the next, which will be, yeah, P3, P4, P5. These are all the players. And then it's getting now to turn two, player one, remembering I am to uh, player one. Now, the scout ships can't carry the minerals. Only ones that can do that are the miners. So we might as well send... Hmm, yeah, might as well go. There he goes, one hex. Yay, isn't that dramatic? Okay, we will then send this scout ship to go and have a look out there. Okay, MS Pipeline will now go to here. And now I'll put connected on it. Toggle connected again, see that plus one. Whereas this one will just sit here connecting him back to my home planet, Vasari. Yeah, we'll put that there so it's all lined up because I'm alien retarded that way. Sorry, that's me. Right, so we need to get this colonial ship over to Alask. Draconis is a baron, so we need to get terraforming to get that um, into the Empire. Okay, this scout ship over here... I don't think I'll order this deep space just yet. So, yeah, he can go and explore there. And this one can go and explore there. Let's do all the home planets first. And, and then we'll risk deep space. Um, I think that's everybody move that I want to move. So, yeah, again, no combat. So we then go straight into explore. What do we find out here? Flip it. Oh, more minerals. Um just about to fit this one over here, but uh, that would be cheating. Okay, uh, over to the top, flip that one. Oh, do you see? There's quite a lot of minerals out there. Should I get an extra miner? Flip this one. Oh, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Right, move the colonial ship to Alask so we can colonize Valhalla and Alask next um, economic cycle. And I think. Again, we've done the exploration. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. I should have moved. Oh, did I? Oh, right, I'm jumping ahead of the gun here. Yeah, sorry. My bad. He cheated there. Right. Yeah, he can only move in the next cycle. So that's the end of turn two. Moving on to through the other players. Turn three. Player one back to me. All right, so movement. So we'll send the scout ship over to here. We don't really need to move any of these. We'll move the miner to here. So we're only going to get one lot of resources this time. Um, this colonial ship that I tried to cheat with now gets to Aslak. Um, this scout ship will get to there. Now, what to do with this one? Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, there's Terra. Um, we do need to scout at these at some point because the enemy can move through these without flipping them over. Um, but I don't know if to, to wait for because if it goes into these areas and you get a date, what's called a danger token flipped over, destroys your spaceship straight away. Gone, boom. That's six production down the toilet. I could wait until I actually develop cruisers who then could have um, searching technology. I can't remember the exact word, um, exploration technology. And then I can flip these counters over without endangering a ship. So I think I'm going to keep him safe for the time being. Um, yeah. I don't want to flip any of these guys over, and it turns out to be um, a danger, and I've lost a ship. Um, and I know six doesn't sound too much, but if you remember, I only got 17 in the last production phase, which was in the previous episode. Um, and uh, <laughs> that means if these are six points each, I can only buy three of them, or oh, two of them, two, two and five six of another ship. So, yeah, got to be a bit careful with resources. Is that everything moved? Looks like it. So let's flip over um, exploration. There's only two this time. 
See, that's where the user exploration technology is. I'm not doing that. I'm flipping it. More minerals. Mr. Miner is going to be busy. And over here, oh, we have a nebula. All right, so replace with a tile. Nebulas and asteroids do have an effect on combat. They, they're classes terrain. So, yeah, that's them done. That's everybody else done, I think so. Yeah, okay, let's clear all that up. Right, to the player two, three, four, five, and we're now into the economic phase. Right, so let's bring up the economic sheet, production sheet. There we go. Oh, it comes down to the bottom here. So we made that claim on that minerals. So I'm now going to do a, a, a refresh. And hopefully that will come up with some new numbers here. Um, let's have a look. Well, Mississippi, how long is it going to take? Oh, I mean, I could have done a pause here, couldn't I, and have it done instantly? Oh, you can listen to me jibber-jabber while it works out its little calculations. It always seems to take long. There we go, longer than necessary. So, um, Colonial CPs, 22. How has it achieved that number? Okay, that is from my core 20. And my two little colonies there at one each, that's me 22. Right. It's then got that five minerals, and that's that five minerals. It removes it from the board, adds it on there. And then it's got two MS pipelines. Ah. Now, I've only got one connected. So why has it gone two? So is it looking at that one there, that plus one? Well, it's got that plus one at Vega. I wonder if it's counting that. I know I've got to have one in my home planet. I'm not sure if it counts. Let me pause and read the rules. No, it's I've got to have one in the home planet, but it doesn't add its plus one. So let me, it's connected, but I, I'm just going to toggle it. What did it change its value does? Value when connected. Ah, there we go. I could do that, can't I? See, plus zero. Right. So each planet adds one. So I should be, if I refresh that, that should then drop that by one. Is it going to do it? Is it going to recognize? Abracadabra. Yeah, I know. I could again pause and you don't have to see this. Uh, ah, there we go. It doesn't take too long. There you go. So that's the one. 22. Five. So the automation on this Vassal module is pretty good. If you were playing this face-to-face, -face, you'd have to do this yourself. And it's not that complicated. It looks daunting until you do it. And that's one of the reasons why I'm showing it. So if you've been put off this game in the past by the economic cycle, you can see it's not that scary. Right, so the maintenance for those three ships, the three scout ships, is still the same. And I've now got a subtotal of 25. So I had 17 in economic cycle one. I've now got 25 to spend on my goodies. Okay, well... Actually, taking that down. So what do I want to spend that 25 on? How many new colonies have I got so far to explore? Got those two. I've got nothing extra waiting out there apart from this Draconis. Now, to colonize Draconis, I need to terraform. And to get terraforming technology, where is it? That costs 20. So out of my 25, I mean, that's four-fifths of my production to terraform to get one planet. And then if I do get that planet, it will only produce five every economic cycle. So it would take five economic cycles for it to start actually making a profit. Is that worth it? I don't know. You tell me. Tell me in the comments. You know, and while you're telling me in the comments, if you could do the like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. The like to say you like the video and subscribe because you like the other videos I've done in the past, hopefully. But yeah, any comment, should I terraform at a cost? I mean, I'm going to make a decision now, but I'm, I'm not going to terraform now because 20 is a lot. Do I want to increase my ship size? I could spend 10 on increasing my ship size so I can start building destroyers to eventually build cruisers. Then I can do that exploration technology. Exploration technology costs how much? Oh, it's not there. Well, there it is. That costs 15. So... Yeah, which one to go for? 
Move one at the moment, increase my move to two. Mm, that costs 20 out of my 25. So that's the, that's the same cost as terraforming. Mm. Mm. Okay, so technology, as you can see, costs a lot of pennies. So what's the next thing to look at? Shipbuilding. Right, what do we need? If I want to get these making me money, I need at least one, maybe one, two, three, four, five, possibly six MS pipelines. At three a pop, six threes are 18 out of my 25. Is that justifiable? Do I need, let's just double check because I can start from here. So I could go one, two, three, four, five, five, so that's 15. And then they're producing as quickly as they can. 15. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spend 15 on MS pipelines. So get five of them. Okay. So I'm not spending on technology yet. And that's 50. I'm going to buy, can't build anything military bigger than a, um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Woo, uh, reverse that. E -e 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 -e. I am limited by how many I can build by my shipyards. I've only got four shipyards. So I can only build four ships at the ship hull points and each ms pipeline is one ah okay so let's decrease that so that would be the maximum i could build and that's 12 out of my 25 so that leaves me 13 left to spend i could increase my ship yards now shipyards can be built on any planet you don't actually need something else to build them to build a shipyard you don't need another shipyard so i could build a shipyard at vega for example or at athlete i can't build it yet because i haven't got a colony there but i could build it at vega you know what i think that might be the thing i'll do i'll build a shipyard out there and i can only build one step of shipyard as well this is one of the things i've in the past made the mistake of it's it's, it's a ramp up thing and I've lost my production. Where's my production gone? Uh, there it is. So, you know, what? I will. Now, shipyards. Where are shipyards? That's why. There we go. So I'll build one step of them. Okay. So that's 18 out of 25. That leaves me with seven. Now, that shipyard just built can't build anything itself this turn because it's only just now being constructed. So I've got seven points. I've got nothing. Should I build a shipyard at the other side of my empire? So, I, you know, over. I can't build it at Aslak or Valhalla, but I can build one at Haldir. Mm, do I want to do that? Mm, no, not really. No, I think that might be all I build at the present moment in time. So that's 18. So I'm going to have seven left over. And there's no technology that costs only seven. So, yeah, it's not the most efficient, but it's pretty much what I can afford. And mm, I tell you what, we could go down one of those. That's 15. And then build with it. Well, that leaves me 10 points. So I could increase my ship size to size two and then start thinking about heading towards cruisers. Okay, let's do that then. So we're spending 15 on ships. And we're going to spend 10 on technology. And the way I click on the technology is that all I've got to do is that tech spending 10, ship spending 15. That's me 25. Okay. And I refresh the columns and I just jibber jabber while it catches up. Is it going to do anything? Uh, yeah, what's it? What about 20 seconds it takes? Maybe 30? Come on. It's not that complicated. There we go. 10 on technology, 15 on ships, nothing remaining for next time. 
So I then commit that to say that I'm happy with what I've done there. So then I build what I've just built. So I built three MS pipelines. So let me get the actual counters for that. I just click the counters tab. Where is that disappeared to? Sometimes on Vassal, things seem to disappear unless you press a button. No, they're not there. Come on, counters. Is it now going to be there? There we go, pieces. Right, so we want yellow ones. So we, want, so we built three MS pipelines, so we build those. Uh, one, two, and three. And we built a shipyard. Combat ships. I'm sure it's shipyard, shipyard, shipyard. That's why it is a con is it classed as a combat? Oh, I don't know. Can you not see? Oh, non combat. No, where's the shipyard? That's why. All right. Oh, scroll down further. There we go. And we're building it here. Okay. And I'll flip it over so you can see it. There you go. You notice it says SY2 now, and the previous one said SY1. Let me just bring that my pointer down. I'll move the colony up a little bit, my MS pipeline up a little bit, so my shipyard can sit there. And it's got one step at the present moment in time. So that's it. That's, uh, that was all my spending. Hold on there. So now I clear down this. Ready for next time. Let's close that down. Bring back my economics that's all stays the same you can see that stays highlighted now technically i could have built a destroyer now in the turn that i use the technology i can build the ships of that technology however i'm not too keen on buying destroyers at the moment i actually want to get the cruisers and start building cruisers destroyers will become useful if the enemies start showing things like um raiders then Destroyers can have scanners, whereas cruisers have exploration technology. So I've basically, and I couldn't spend 10 on ship size for ship size two and 15 for ship size three in the same cycle. Again, there's a ramping up thing. So next economic cycle, I could spend 15 points to get ship size three, and then I could start buying cruisers in the same turn. Ooh. But that's that's future planning right so i've got my ships out oh what i need to do now is grow my colonies so if i click this but first of all i need to no grow colonies first so those ones that one and that one should now become threes there they go and i now colonize aslak and valhalla there they go they're at one so next economic cycle i should be getting 20 3 6 7 8 plus whatever i get in the ms pipelines plus whatever um the little miner brings back to the planet so that's how my economy grows that is we're, we're still doing the exploration but now we're starting to expand um economically and physically on the map border so i've got now four planets that are colonized i think again there's eight in my home system so after that we then move on we're, we're actually done so we now go to the second empire so that will be the reds who are sitting over here there's the altarians and that's where we use that um alien sheet i showed in the previous video i'm going to show it again okay so bringing back up the alien economic sheet. remember these are blank i've been filling in on a real piece of paper as uh, that's sitting beside me um but i'm just going to talk through what these actually mean so we're now starting into the economic turn cycle two okay and it's still only got one roll at the present moment so we roll a d10 to see what it actually produces and there's my real D10s. There we go. And he rolls a two. So there, a two to three, okay, builds a fleet. So where did I put I'll probably pen down somewhere, haven't I? Oh. Right, so it will be putting 10 points because we were playing on the hard level in this fleet here. 
So last time I put 10 in tech, it's now going to put 10 in fleet. Okay. Um, because it, that's how many points it gets. You then moving along, it said fleet launch 1 to 10. Well, that's automatic then, isn't it? As long as it had 10 point, uh, more than six points in the fleet column, it will launch a fleet. Okay. Um, so that's going to be automatic. I'm going to put a fleet for red over here. I've done it again. I'll press something in Alt key over here. So let me just get a red fleet. Now, I don't know. I'm going to just use a fleet marker. Where are the fleet markers in this? There we go. So we're going to put that on the board there. Okay. Bring us a pain. There we go. So oh, I don't need that. So on this sheet here, I'm going to write fleet number. Well, we're just going to call it bring us a pain. I'm going to call it fleet B. And it uses that 10 points. So it's got 10 points. And I cross that out of that column there. So during the movement phase, that will now start moving towards me with 10 points. Now, 10 points is not a lot. OK, it's probably um, either a scout ship or whatever. But they've also got 10 points of technology. I don't spend that technology until I encounter them. And if they spend any, well, by the time they encounter me, they put any more points in technology, they will have that more points on, on that fleet. So that's them done. They have launched their first fleet. It's got 10 points. We know it can't be a raider because you need 12 points to, to, to be a raider. So, OK, then I'll do exactly the same for the Terrans. OK, and I roll a dice. It's the same. I rolled a four this time. A four, looking at that column there, means it puts it into tech. OK, so they've got now 20 points in tech. And even though the fleet launch says, again, still want a 10, they've got no points in fleet, so they can't launch a fleet. And that's them done. So we've just done the economic phases for player two and player three there is no player four or five and we're now back into the economic cycle of three um first turn player one which is me but we will pause um or stop at that point and i'm back okay just to show what i've done on here but like i did last time so we now i can't get my fingers it's, it's, it's reversed so um I wonder if I can use a pen. There we go. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, I've crossed its 10 points out there. Whoops. And it flops down. And we've now got bringer of pain. B has got 10 points. And currently it's still uh, wrong way around. There we go. It's still got 10 points in technology. He didn't increase that. So if I encountered that fleet, it will spend 10 points on technology. And there's a whole list of things of what it could spend on. It could be on movement. It could be on tech technology or anything else like that. And if it puts any more points into that tech tree, it will get them to spend on that fleet, even though it's launched it from its own world. Then looking at the Terrans, okay, they've just spent 20 points on tech on their one roll. Next cycle, if I can bring that in a little bit closer, not me, I'll, I'll move my, bring this in closer. You can see on economic turns oh, and on three, they will get two rolls. So they'll get 20 points there. Um, and obviously they start ramping up and their fleets will get bigger and so on. If you know, I've got little scout ships floating around, they'll probably have little scout ships floating around. But as we progress, things will get bigger and badder. So, but anyway, that's it for this video. Um, if you could like the video, that'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and you enjoy what I do. Um, hit that little notification bell so every time I upload one of these videos, it, you'll be notified of it. And above all, remember, please make a comment. I enjoy the comments. All comments will be answered and it's much appreciated. But until next time, play games, have fun, buy internet.